Morning. Uh, New York State facing a deep budget crisis and lawmakers considering raising taxes on the wealthy to help fill the hole. Robert Frank joins us now with more. Robert. Good morning, Andrew. Well, New York State lawmakers pushing for a special emergency session to raise taxes before January 1st. So they want to do this in the next two weeks. Now, the state is looking at an $8 billion budget deficit for this fiscal year and a lot of job cuts without federal aid. A coalition of 10 labor unions writing to Albany, the impact of the pandemic has fallen most heavily on the poor, so our leaders must ask the richest New Yorkers to step up to the plate. Now, there are three tax hikes right now being considered. One would be a straight increase in the top rates. Right now, the top rate is 8.8% in New York for those making more than a million dollars. The second one is a financial transactions tax. Now, this would be a tax of up to five cents a share on stock transfers, which would heavily impact financial exchanges. Now, you've also got a pied a tax on those who own more than one home in New York City. That, of course, would affect an already struggling real estate market. Now, Governor Cuomo has been opposed to tax hikes in the past, saying too many New Yorkers would leave. But just this month, he's changed his tune, saying it's a question of when and how much and not if. Andrew, back to you. Hey, Robert, I, I read a story, I think, in the past 24 hours that suggested that given the amount of capital gains that uh, have been made, uh, especially among the wealthy during this period, uh, that actually some of the budgets aren't going to be as hard hit as perhaps expected. Is that right? That's absolutely right. So New York City tax collections through October were a billion dollars more than projected. Now, they're still 6 percent lower year to year for the state as a whole. California has collected 11 billion more than they projected through October. And a lot of that, you're right, comes from this huge stock market run that we've seen, all these IPOs, all these capital gains that they're seeing. But again, that is relative to expectations, not relative to real revenue year over year, right. which is still declining, coupled with the added cost. New York looking at an $8 billion deficit this fiscal year, $16 billion next year without any federal aid. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.